It's been nearly 24 hours since a thunderous 7.4 magnitude earthquake rocked Taiwan. The strongest quake to strike the region in 25 years was followed by several powerful aftershocks, killing at least nine people and injuring nearly a thousand. As dawn breaks in Taiwan, the recovery efforts continue. The quake struck in the same area where a 6.4 quake hit back in 2018. That disaster killed 17 people and collapsed many buildings. KTV's Tom Vakar joins us now with a report of what we know so far about this most recent quake. Tom? Well, we do have some late numbers. The latest data show nine killed, 963 injured, 143 trapped under rubble, as well as some 50 people on minibuses headed to a national park. They're missing. Taiwan is twice the size of the nine Bay Area counties and home to 23 million people in 101 cities and towns. Fortunately, the brunt of the force was experienced on its mountainous, sparsely populated east coast, 90 miles away, but was felt everywhere. Nonetheless, it has consumed local television there, and at SFO, we met people just in from the battered island. And it lasts pretty long. It was longer than I expected. Yeah. People definitely are trying to say earthquake, earthquake. Um, you could see some of the ticket agents like get underneath the counter already. The uh, clerk was just about ready to issue me my, uh, my boarding pass and the place started to shake and shake. It took about 15 seconds, but somehow it seemed a lot longer. And I looked up, it's a vast building, very large chandeliers and they were swinging and I looked around and most of the people were running out. One family was on a hotel's 13th floor. We were just in our room getting ready to leave and just the whole building started swaying back and forth. Kind of hear the shuddering like in the building. Um, but yeah, it lasted about two, how many minutes? Um, two or three minutes. Two or three minutes. The Chens were able to drive to the airport. The highway is still working, but uh, the, um, the, the railway, uh, the uh, rapid transit is closed transit uh, temporarily. Those most affected in Taiwan must now find new places to live. He says, we are all residents who live in this neighborhood. The wall of our apartment is cracked. We live on the upper floor, so we don't dare to go home. Now, any large disruption to Taiwan's microchip manufacturing industry will slow the production of vehicles, cell phones, communications devices, and the burgeoning and important to the Bay Area artificial intelligence industry. And this is a worldwide phenomenon. These are the chips that fuel and uh, keep the disputed nation's powerhouse high technology economy at $800 billion. However, good to note, Workers are already returning to the massive semiconductor facilities, and that is very good news. Okay, so were they ready to go, these these factories? Well, after the big earthquake that they had uh, a few years back, uh, they worked much more heartily on the idea of better um, zoning codes and better earthquake codes. And on top of that, more of what they call base isolation. You put these things on almost like floating surfaces so that when the earth starts shaking radically, it takes this a lot longer to get them, the building to move. That protects the equipment very, very good. Eventually what you're going to have to do when you really think about this would be to have maglev, levitated buildings, and then when an earthquake strikes, you would have almost mo no motion at all. Hmm. All right, Tom, thank you. Yep.